Do you know in my life, man, I never owned a camera in my life. Huh? The tape recorders. No, me, I have to tell you, yeah. 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 But no cameras. Never, never got interested in talking mm. Never, 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 never. Here's Donald Trump. Hmm? Here's Stone Fool. Sit there and call the woman ugly and then say he didn't say it. On that debate. Well, my advice to Donald Trump and to her, they should marry each other and see what kind of ugly baby the both of them have. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> okay. 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 It's but, a game. But he's he's a, he at the at this point he is a legitimate contender. He's a legitimate contender. You in this business? You ever been interviewed by somebody about him? No. Okay. So what make you ever somebody else have? Hmm. I'm, okay. I'm, well. That's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Huh? That's the white folks say it. It ain't questioned. Then you got this other little thug punk, Ben Carson. 90% of black folks ain't never heard of him. So you mean these redneck white folks love him that much? He's that high? Hmm? What was his claim to fame? Surgeon. No, it was more than that. He's the first prime that disconnected Siamese twins from the head. That never happened before mm -hmm. in the history of the planet. Hmm? Mm -hmm. He wasn't even in the room when that happened. Hmm? See, that's what research do. It was that team of 87 German doctors. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And they thought they was able to do this. So they brought him in the room because he was from South Africa. Mm -hmm. hmm? In South Africa, we all know before black folk took over, South Africa had a nuclear bomb. Mm -hmm. You heard Nelson Mandela? You heard nobody talk about it. Where'd it go? Mm -hmm. hmm? Where did it go? Good, good question. So you, to clarify, you said Ben Carson was from South Africa? No, the person they operated on mm -hmm. was... From South Africa? South Africa. Okay. Yeah. And they didn't want nobody to be able to say they was experimenting on black folks. Hmm? Now, let's get back to just plain old nigger shit. If he did what they say he did, how come he's never been nominated for a Nobel Prize in medicine? I didn't say get one. You know, when they pick up the number one football player uh, in America this year, it will be 10 people nominated. Mm -hmm. He's never been nominated. Mm -hmm. uh, we ain't talking about a Nobel Prize. He's never been nominated. Hmm? That's why you see that look on his face. Hmm? And then when they tried to make him feel he's important, you can't duck a lie. Hmm? When he came to the prayer breakfast of, of the president and said, Obamacare is worse than slavery. Hmm? Did you know by the time he got back to John Hopkins, he was fired? Wow. Moved his stuff out. John Hopkins get more government money than any country in the world. Don't mess with this titty. Hmm? He's already been paid to get the commencement address two weeks later. They say, keep the money, though. We don't want you around here. Hmm? Wow. That's who he is. Hmm? Wow. And four years before that, they had a, a black man, hmm? Herman Cain, one of the brilliant black minds on the planet. So when I saw him doing the Buck Week speech, I said, oh, my God. Herman Cain was chairman of the Kansas City Federal Reserve. That's where your pension money, that's where your income tax money is. You look at the checks, Kansas City Federal Reserve. Hmm? That's, he ran that. Hmm? But the, the, the trick is, because they know racism. Right. They had these white women coming out, talking about what he did, but don't say he had sex with them. No, no. Mm -hmm. She had sex. Mm -hmm. no. They played the same trick on uh, Clarence Thomas. No, rightly or wrongly, I don't know if um, I, I I don't know what your opinion is on Clarence Thomas, but some scandal came out on him. Yeah, well, see, I I was given an honorary doctor's degree at the University of Missouri. A black man was head of the law department. Him and Clarence Thomas was in college together. 
He showed me the letter that Clarence drew up on how they could make it big. And he said, I can't do that. Okay? That's what Clarence told me. Okay? And so I know a guy, he just died a couple of weeks ago, named uh, Dr. Goodhart in St. Louis. Went to uh, Cornell. Brilliant. He's one of the finest minds in the history of the school. This was what? Back in the 30s. So they go to him and they make a deal. They said, uh, Monsanto. They cry when they talk about you, how intelligent, how brilliant. They would like for you to run the company, but they can't bring you in as that because the white scientists would quit. Right. But you white enough to be white. He refused it. He refused it. I mean. Wait, so, so when I met him, mm -hmm. a friend of mine had cancer. He said, I got, I got the cure. He said, but I sell it to veterinarians. In three days, the guy was cured. Now, forget that. Black man became so angry. All of these people dying for cancer, he has to cure. Don't make me mad, boy. <laughs> okay? Then he showed me a picture, man. It looked like something from another planet. I said, well, you show me? He said, that's me. What? Yeah, my laboratory blew up on me. Well, how you look like that? I got the cure. Hmm? Wow. I have the cure. Hmm? Don't make me mad. Huh? See how it works? It's out there. Well, um, what did the letter that Clarence Thomas wrote up say? Huh? You said Clarence Thomas had written a letter. I wasn't a little, a little scheme with him and him, his, his with the plan they was going to do. He said, not me. Okay. All right. Hmm? No, I thought it was a secret. Michael Jackson. Huh? A child. His mind was a child. Mm. Hmm? Came one of the most powerful human beings in the world, and they killed him. See, we were beating the man. And so I call it rioting in the movie theater because this was rioting without destroying anything. 